Hi right, guys, I want to talk to you about this uh, new bait by Dometeo. It's been around for a while, and so I've been using it recently and uh, had great success on this. So I just wanted to show you guys this. This is the Dometeo uh, Armour Shad. It's a four inch um, size. Comes in about nine different colours available from Sensation Tackle. Um, I'm showing you the blister card because don't go and look for it in your ordinary uh, packs. This is available in like a blister pack just to make these baits sit nicely. Uh, look after them while they're on the shelf. Um, it's a very versatile boat, guys. Um, I've been fishing with it a while now. I've had a lot of success, especially at uh, Midmar. And then recently I took them to Alberts, and, and the, this is the little bait here that I did all the damage with at, at Alberts recently. Um, it's easy to fish, so it doesn't have a slit at the bottom. It's a solid uh, body, so it's quite heavy, so you can cast it quite nicely. It's a paddle tail. Um, this is rigged with there's just a 5 -o, uh, this over here is a Hayabusa 5 uh, wide gap hook. Um, it makes it, gives it a nice keel, it's quite nice and heavy, and it sits perfectly in the water. The action of this bait is, the bait is unique, it's got a very nice wobbling action, it looks realistic in the water, and it certainly catches fish. Um, basically how are we fishing this is we're throwing it into the grass, like you would a horny toad, you throw it into the grass, and you wind it across the top, so it comes through the top of the grass, just like a honey toad would. Uh, once it gets to the edges, you can let it settle a bit, you can let it sink in holes and that, but it is, it's incredible bait, so definitely worthwhile having in your arsenal. But uh, that's not it, though. There's, it's very versatile. There's a couple of different ways that I like to fish it. I like to fish it on the bottom as well, a little feeding bait fish. So this I've just got rigged on a, on a tungsten shaky head, it's made by Sensation as well. Uh, basically throw it out quite light, it's got an awesome action as it drops down and with along the bottom. So this works just about everywhere as well. The other way I like to fish it um, is weedless on a, on a little jig head. So um, basically a jig that's got a removable skirt, so I've taken the skirt off, I've put this little thing on the back there and it's incredibly versatile. So it's in amongst the rocks, um, up against the cliffs and that and let it come down. So the action is brilliant. The two colors that you've seen me use uh, that I've got here now, this one here is a gold china, and the other one here, this one here, is known as pure gill. Uh, both of these I've chosen because of the abundance of bait fish at the moment. And uh, that little shine in the water often gives the bass an appearance of a little bait uh, fish ball just above, and uh, they come up and smash it. And uh, we fished a tournament recently, and I didn't even think of trying these, but we went back afterwards when I had time to think properly and it was just uh, chaos on, on the top of you. In, in extremely tough conditions, this works very, very well. Um, you can throw it on a couple of different uh, ways as well. A couple of guys are throwing them on the melee, the, the Boya melee, which is um, a, a bladed bait, a bladed jig basically. Um, put it on as a trailer and that works exceptionally well, especially the gold color. The gold shiner color. Uh, the other way to fish it as well is on the the war eagle underspin, which is also brilliant. Eh? It's weedless. It's got a weed guard above. And same thing. You just throw it into the grass and just wind it through the grass. Uh, the boy and the Mickey Armour Shad paddle, four inch, extremely versatile, great bait. One you must have in your arsenal.